I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will discuss a test question on vectors. Here is question number 3 from one of the test papers. The question here is a line L1 passes through A041 and has slope or direction vector M equals to 1 minus 2, 2. The second line L2 has the equation R equals to 4, 2, minus 1, plus T, 3, 0, minus 4. Determine the obtuse angle between the lines to the nearest degree. So, uh, let's rewrite the equation for the lines first. Line 1 is going through this position vector 0, 4, 1. So, we could write this as S times uh, the direction is minus 2, 2. For line 2, uh, the equation is given us in vector form already, which is as I have written here. Now, we need to find the angle between these two lines. To find the angle, we can use the dot product, right? So, so the dot products can help us find the angle. So, basically, we'll check into their directions. So, so the direction of the first line dot direction of the second line will be equals to magnitude product of their magnitudes right times cos of angle between them right so from here we can always find that the angle cos theta is product of dot products m1 and m2 right divided by their product of magnitudes uh, okay, so we'll just write magnitude here. Okay, just magnitude. And of course, inverse of this cosine will give us the angle. So that's the strategy to follow. So let's calculate uh, the dot product. So we have cos theta equals to dot product of these two direction vectors. These are 1 minus 2, 2 dot 3, 0, minus 4. The magnitudes are square root of 1 square plus minus 2 square plus 2 square times square root of 3 square plus 0 square plus minus 4 square, right? So that is what it is. So what we get here is 1 times 3 is 3 minus 2, that is 0. 2 times minus 4 is minus 8 divided by the square we can always use the calculator to find this answer anyway this is 4 plus 4 8 8 plus 4 9 square root of 9 is 3 so I could write this as 3 and here we have 3 square plus 4 square which is 25 so 3 times 5 right so that becomes the uh, ratio so 3 minus 8 is minus so minus 5 over 3 times 5 that gives you minus 1 over 3 right so so cos of minus 1 over 3 so we can actually now find the angle theta as equals to cos inverse of uh, we can do minus 1 over 3 also uh, but as you know cos is negative in uh, quadrant 2 right so let me just sketch this here for you so what we can do also is that we know when we talk about minus 1 over 3 that means we are in quadrant 2 so what we will do here is we can find the related acute angle we could do that let's say alpha and then 180 minus alpha will just give us the obtuse angle theta is that okay so that's what actually we will do so instead of finding uh, theta directly what we will do, you could do this also, you'll get probably ne negative answer, but I prefer to find the acute angle alpha. So let me show you that. So we'll say cos of alpha equals to 1 over 3, alpha is equals to cos inverse of 1 over 3. Is that okay? So that is a better approach actually. So let's find the acute angle first. So we'll do shift cos inverse of 1 divided by 3 which is equal to this is equals to 70.5 
okay now angle theta is actually equals to 180 degrees because this is alpha right this is alpha these two angles are equal so now it is 180 minus 70.5 so let's do that so it is 180 minus the answer which is equals to 109.47 right we need to round this on answer to nearest degree and therefore we'll round it to 109 degrees correct so that is how we will do so instead of finding theta directly from here we need to find cos inverse of this angle right so i'm kind of changing this from here so we'll move in this direction we'll find the related acute angle and then the the obtuse angle which is required so we say theta is equals to 109 degrees right so that is the answer for us and this is a better approach right so at times if you find directly you may get negative angle sometimes you may get confused about it i'm anil kumar and i hope that helps thank you and all the best